You won't believe who is pushing for nonstop nuclear war. Historians would say, why is it okay for Reagan to do it and not President Biden? But let me ask you about well, the why big is it okay? Deal. Well, can I say this? Why is it okay for America to not to, to drop two nuclear bombs? Nuke them. Let's nuke the bastards. On Hiroshima and Nagasaki to end their existential threat war. Why was it okay for us well, to do that? I, I thought it was okay. To Israel, do Senator, whatever you have to do to survive as a Jewish state. You can do it, put your back into it. Senator, again, military officials say whatever the technology you have to do. has changed. You can do it, put your back into it. But let me ask you about how yeah, all Yeah, these of this military could officials impact. that you're talking let me, about let me ask you are something. full of crap. You sound like a gay. <laughs> I feel like if Lindsey Graham would just come out of the closet already, he wouldn't have to act so tough all the time. I don't claim I'm the most tough guy around, but compared to you, I, compared to you, I'm Godzilla on steroids. He's just always that guy that wants to crank it up to 11. You know what? Let's not send in the troops anymore because troops kill people and we don't want people to die, we need to send in nuclear bombs. If he had his way, every country that had a nuclear arm would just fire him off. It's just like, you know what, at this point, let's just, let's shake things up a bit. Let's destroy the entire planet. It's worth it. If Israel has to defend its border and start World War III, then dadgummit, let's get it going. Because I don't know how much longer I'm going to live and I want to see another war. I want to be in the history books and people remember me as Lindsey Graham, the guy that pushed for nuclear arms. I want to be the guy that pushed for mass destruction around the world. More people dying, more innocent civilians dying, the better. Because that will enter in the history books. People will remember Lindsey Graham as the man who said uh, the important things and showed how hard and strong and straight he was. Come on, y'all. <laughs> <God. laughs> if Lindsey Graham would just come out of the closet already, he'd probably be anti-war. <laughs> he probably would just be like, y'all, you know what? Let's have some peace around here, okay? I'm sick of all this war talk. I'm sick of acting, putting on this straight guy persona. The straight guy persona, like, he has a huge monster truck, and he is all about war, and he's like, he gets home late at night, and he watches special forces videos uh, with his boxers on when he's eating, and he's putting his food on his chest, and he's just, like, eating his food. Oh, yeah. You, you beat up those bad boys. <laughs> Oh, God, he is the worst. I lament thinking about how I voted for him at some point in my life. I used to think this is what the Republican Party was. Look how tough he is. Wow, he doesn't take crap from no one. God. What are your thoughts on Lindsey Graham? What are your thoughts on the future of the Republican Party? Um, will it become more populous or will we eventually turn around and become more like this idiot? Please let me, and maybe this idiot, uh, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of your freaking day.